we're going to use a tweet just randomly I found on internet and then we're going to use Google Gemini to come up with the requirement and then we're going to send it to Replit agent to create the actual web app. So first of all, I've got a tweet here. The tweet actually says, I'm looking for an extremely useful and nice clean looking calendar design similar to Google Calendar but much better looking. Have you seen any? Really liked. This is like some random person I found on internet named K Track. So I'm going to just copy this. Okay, sorry. I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to go paste it in Google Gemini. So one of the reason I used, I wanted to use Google Gemini in this particular case is because it's extremely good with OCR, optical character recognition. So I'm not even going to type this. I'm just going to paste it. This, okay. Yeah, that's okay. This is a requirement. I need to give to an entry level, entry level developer, please create a requirement document. I would prefer you specifying exact stack. Don't give options. Give it in such a way I can post it to Upwork. Okay, so I've given this requirement to Google Gemini. I'm expecting Google Gemini to give a simple requirement document. So I've said this workflow before, just do not give the exact requirement like in a very plain English to Replit agent or any other AI assisted coding. So you need to expand on it if you're starting a project from scratch. So this is a project from scratch. So I'm going to just copy literally this and I'm going to just, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's once again giving me the skills and experience. What we want is a simple deliverable. So I'm going to just up update it. So I'm going to take this and uh, I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste it, but I'm going to make a few changes. So I'm going to just edit this key responsibilities. <laughs> we are not trying to do um, any key responsibilities. I'm Okay, let's just paste this literally and see what is going to be a uh, modern calendar app. Okay, so seeking a modern calendar app and I'm going to just paste it. So it's going to tell me the basic thing. Replit agent is an early access. That's okay. I'm going to send it. Now I'm expecting it to start creating the agent. So what are the things that we want to see here is how easy it is for us to take a requirement that is completely in an idea stage and then convert into a useful application. I'm not sure if anybody is going to use a calendar alone, but there are like a bunch of applications that I'm trying to build. One of the comment that I got from one of our subscribers is to build a medical POS, like a point of sale system. I've not seen like a web app as a point of sale. I've seen mostly like Windows apps. It's like when I was growing up, Visual Studio uh, or uh, the C++, Visual C++ was kind of a big deal. A lot of people made money just by developing Windows applications just for point of sale. So as you can see here now, our agent is wrapping up its current step. Okay, so it's uh, proposing me what it is going to build. So that is a good step. So you can see here, I've created a plan for a modern uh, calendar app using Flask and Vanilla JavaScript, React based. Okay, build the initial prototype, implement data persistence using Postgres. Should we do it? Seems like a good option. Okay, I don't want to integrate with Google Calendar and all those things implemented drag and drop no the just the data persistence is fine upload approve the plan approve the plan one little coder has approved the plan and it is going to start building the prototype and it just begun you can see here it started building it here and um, it's uh, it's building the basic structure and you can see as it starts to build you would see like files popping up here right now there is no file there is just just a configuration file and the git is just dot get so it's starting to create the basic files um i don't know why is it creating like a models um i'm not sure if it is using any um let's say design paradigm or a a, a type of coding um, in this particular case so it's creating all these files as you can see here it is making changes to this file added support flask sql alchemy i guess it is going to use sql alchemy because we asked for database connection as an additional feature so that is going on. Uh, it is installing the required libraries. Like I've mentioned previously, one of the reason I like Replit Agent is primarily because it installs all the libraries. It takes out the initial development roadblock that a new developer would have. And it just like helps you do all those things. So it has written the SQL files. I think this is data model actually. And uh, you can see here there's ID title start in description. 
and it is all being uh, returned as a dictionary i guess and uh, it's installing the required libraries here and if we go into the main.py file so what do we have here so we have got events we have got create event um update event delete event so it's considered to be like kind of like a crud app uh, i always wanted to build a crud app with a replit agent i thought i'll try something else maybe i'll try something else but for now i don't know um i'm not a very good full stack developer but like i'm not even a full stack developer so let me know if this counts as a crud app c r u d create um update d for delete what is r i don't know what is crud crud full form okay create read update and delete okay cool so now it is again um, updating the main.py file uh, i think it's adding errors so it restarted the flask file you can go to the progress and then see what kind of changes it is making all the changes are visible here started the server it seems i don't know somehow it is again updating it let's go create the web view here so where we can actually see the application so we've got a modern calendar app um it's taking a screenshot uh, let's see if i can create an event okay is it because i'm going to open it in a new tab okay i've got september 2024 sunday monday tuesday wednesday not sure how to create an event so let me click create an event okay the next button works previous works but if i say create an event it doesn't seem to work okay so i'm going to go back here and then say pause it create event doesn't seem to show anything oh it's still working is it oh my goodness bo um am i just like doesn't seem to show anything let me just see yeah create event doesn't seem to show anything um not not sure if it's working fine also uh, a grid look grid look for calendar would be better okay so i've just given a small change um okay so it is uh, presenting the results to the user it didn't seem to con okay it's uh, it's it is it going to consider what i just said i think it processes it in the sequence so it says the calendar grid visible now okay it says um okay it's going to make changes i guess uh, if i go look at the dev tools uh, it seems like one of the properties which is add event listener doesn't seem to be working fine so this is good we have got a dev tools inbuilt that can help us give what is a javascript error that it is getting so yeah i understand the create event function isn't working as expected that you would prefer a more grid like appearance for the calendar i'll have the team team work on fixing these issues right now we'll ensure that the new events are properly created and displayed and it is still working on i don't think it is making any change to the code let's see i guess it, yeah it's making some changes restarted the flask application made some code change so good thing here is again whenever it makes some code change you can see the code change as a diff which means like let's say for example you have got like good knowledge of whatever that you are doing so you have an understanding so let's go again okay so let's open it in new tab okay oh oh ach oh my goodness so we have here okay we have um, 01 2000 2000 year uh, 2000 okay um, in maybe 2024 2024 and uh, 22nd september 2020 2024 oh. 2024 description uh, this is a sample event you are on internet create the event please add a va va oh i have to add time as well seriously 
okay Let's create the event okay so it gave me the information that i'm on internet i go to tomorrow i'm on internet okay not tomorrow next month i'm not so that information is there on 15th it is there and it ends on 22nd i think there is some css issue it seems it does the it does everything well uh, whatever we said there is a memory information it seems like it is recorded or uh, i'm going to just go ahead and try one last time the create event is fine good job appreciate you appreciate it but the grid look isn't there not sure if it's a css issue you can try using shad cn component i don't know if it's called shad shad cn ui components or likewise if required okay i'm not, now at this point i'm not confident that if we are going to finish it in 10 minutes if we can't um that's 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 l on me um okay so i understand that the grid look for the calendar isn't quite there yet we'll work on improving the calendar's appearance using shad cn ui components Uh, I'm not sure of it, how it can use it in Python. Uh, anyways, this should give the calendar a cleaner look, a more organized look. We'll make sure it's responsive, works on different sizes. Okay, that's one thing. That's interesting. So I'm going to refresh this. Okay, when we refresh it, it shows the entire calendar, and it shows this. So the you are on internet is still saved because oh. Why is it one, two? Every time I click, does it show up new? One, two. Can I delete it? Okay, delete. If I refresh this again, yeah, it's not there. So the event is gone. So this is. I think there is some CSS thing is messed up. I guess so. If I go to inspect element, console, refresh this. I'm not sure if there is a CSS issue because. it has a very weird look um let's go back here restarted edited cool that's weird it still seems to look uh, the same to me to be honest in fact if not um yeah uh it doesn't have the grid look let's go and see no no i don't see a grid look let's try um mobile look i want to go open new tab inspect element no nope. uh, i don't think there is a grid look iphone se yeah uh yes a grid look like google calendar at all the numbers are all listed but it has made some change so what change did it make so it made some change it's trying to use uh, some data pack date pack made some css changes as well so it has tried to make some change uh, but i'm surprised like those changes didn't help so it's got um, i understand that the calendar doesn't have the grid look you were expecting will work on implementing a grid layout similar to google calendar with clear divisions between days weeks and a more structured appearance this should give you the organized grid like calendar view that you are looking for okay if you guys can do it or you ai can do it that's interesting so it's going to make some changes we got a bunch of files we have got static css style sheet here the style sheet okay um seems to be using tailwind js we have api 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 calendar okay so it's um, restarting the flask good thank you i would have appreciated if this was implemented before so i'm going to go click create event this is nice uh, what do we create mm, i don't know llama llama multi model fifth 
2024 we can make some improvements we can say that you know add default value don't let me add everything um, i want to go till october this time 2024 something 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 description mark bro has promised sir create an event so we have got 15 doesn't spread across every this thing so ideally it should show like this but what we wanted is almost here so there is a calendar not sure how it is like modern looking but we have an active calendar i want to check the date by the way today is um saturday 21st okay so the calendar date is synced so that is a good thing it's not hallucinating the calendar itself uh, but we can make improvements but overall we managed to successfully build a calendar look and uh, we can also add events uh, we can uh, delete events i guess yeah we can delete events we can edit events and uh, delete events click ok and I hope it works maybe there is an issue with the delete yeah so it has to close the model and then come back and then show so we have a fully functional maybe um, a little bit more test cases and improvements the ux could be improved but ultimately whatever we wanted like a, to build a calendar it's been successfully done so we saved you enough work requirement posting see you in another video happy prompting